Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Craft Cuts by Flowgroup. Uh, it is a craft shortcuts integration. We're just going to go over how to use it and use some of the demo shortcuts that uh, he has provided and some other users have provided. So first off, to get Craft Cuts, you got to go to the Craft Cuts uh, GitHub repository, and you'll actually find that uh, a link to that in the description of the down below. You'll find that down below. And then if you go to Five Tags for releases, and then we're going to click on the 032, which is 27 days ago, and we would download it. So I've already downloaded and installed it. Now to install it, you'd come into your X developer menu. You'd go to, I'm already in Craft Cuts, but I go to Plus, and I'd download Craft Cuts. And add it, and then you have Craft Cuts there. It'll show up in your uh, menu right here. So I've already added to uh, Craft Cuts or Shortcuts. Uh, import events and import weather. So let's go over to my daily note and look at uh, import events. And you can see I've tried it earlier. So, because of course we always test out our stuff first because sometimes it doesn't work to start. So, the first thing we're going to do is go in here and we're going to import my events for the day. So, this imports multiple calendars and I'll show you that in a second. Import events. It's going to open up shortcuts and you can see there it has imported my events. So I have to uh, take my wife to work at K1, although she you know, has an incorrect thing. This is at Elks. Uh, my daughter is at Elks. And then uh, my other daughter is swimming. And then I go straight from swimming to pick up my wife and my oldest daughter um, from their uh, skating event. So that's one of the sort of one big set of things I had to do today. The other thing we can do with our daily note too is import weather. I'll show you this again in a minute as well. Import weather. It's 9C and mostly cloudy. So I had some problems with shortcuts, uh, specifically around this one. I tried to add some other stuff like, and it's going to, you know, 90% chance of rain. But I had shortcuts continue to quit on me. I don't think it has anything to do with craft cuts. I think it has to do with shortcuts and just issues in converting things there. It's not craft cuts itself. So that's two shortcuts. Why don't I show you those now? I actually started um, the craft weather I did on my own, uh, although uh, Flowgrow has one on the GitHub repository. So if you go to the GitHub repository, craft cuts, and scroll down, he's actually made a list of some of the shortcuts that people have made. You can see it in this table right here, the templates, reminders, we'll do that one in a minute, uh, open URLs, and some other ones. So he has a weather shortcut. I didn't use that, I used his template. So we've got three templates here um, that you can use as well. If you want to uh, start your own, that's a way to do it. Going back over to shortcuts, I'll open up my weather one. I'm going to start with his template, open it. So what does it do? So it receives any input from nowhere. We can just leave this again. This is with his template. Uh, he's got some descriptions here. And then I brought in the weather block. And really all I did was come in here. Uh, there is a, and this is where we're going to two finger click, insert variable. Select weather conditions. I had an old weather conditions one, so we can say uh, precipitation chance. All right, percent chance of rain. So now if I go back over to craft, now this is where I've had I'm going to shortcuts crash on me a few times today. I'm trying to t go for this. Let's try it now though. Import weather. Again, this is where we've had it fail. So with his um, demos, what you should have to do, I don't believe this is his problem at all. All you should have to do is basically fill in this text block and don't change anything below here. Um, it should do all the rest of it for you and uh, do all the URL encoding and everything and you should be just fine. So I think it's more with my stuff with the things I've tried to add. Ah, see, shortcuts has quit. It's a shortcuts thing. Shortcuts on Mac, still only okay. Um, and while you can do extensions on uh, the web, I'm not actually sure that this one would work because I'm not sure that it would interact well with shortcuts. You'd have to do it only with the Mac OS version. Something else we can do that Flowgrow has provided for us is to add a, take our reminders or our tasks here and push them off to reminders. So let's add that shortcut. So I'm going to come into my develop menu. I'm going to add a shortcut. I'm going to come over to shortcuts. I've already got this one open. I'll copy craft task reminder because I need the actual name of the shortcut. Insert the exact name. I'm going to call it 
tasks to reminders. I'm going to say cancel and move tasks. I'm going to add the shortcut now. So you can see now that I hit click add shortcut, this blanked itself. It'd be nice if it actually just disappeared so I didn't have to worry about it, but it doesn't. And I come back into craft cuts, you can say I have tasks to reminders. Now notice here, there's a few things to look at in the task I have Saturday, April 23rd. So this is, you know, on the weekend, uh, cause I'm recording this on the 25th. So instead I would come in here and say, um, let's say May 1. So you actually have to finish typing. You say I start typing May and it's trying to match something else. Now I hit a number and now it says May 1 at 11 a.m. April 20th. So I can say at uh, May 12th, Thursday, May 12th. And then if I want a time, I would actually put the time after. You can see that just 11 a.m. And this one will have no time in it. So now I can come in and go to my develop menu again. I can go to task reminders and it's going to run it, and you can see it cancelled the tasks. So basically indicating that they've moved, uh, not resolved, but cancelled, and then I can go to reminders, I can type things, and you can see craft task thing three, craft task thing, as my date, it actually put the date as May 1st, and it actually creates a link to my old document, and a, another one right there for the 12th. So now I have moved these off. So craft, this can be good uh, in many notes when you have tasks and you can just move them off to the actual project and reminders that they should be in. Another thing we can do with our tasks is if I come back into a daily note, let's actually, yeah, let's do this one. So I'm gonna create a task. This is a thing for today, thing I will not get done. So I'm gonna come back over to shortcuts again because I have not, add this one yet and we're going to say craft tasks or craft cuts tasks to tomorrow and we'll open it this is going to move all my tasks to tomorrow this is a good kind of end of the day wrap up shortcut you can use for craft if you're moving your tasks around we'll come back into our developer menu add shortcut put in the exact name let's say tasks tomorrow let's say cancel and move them add shortcut so there we go. So now if I come in here, uh, I'm going to X this, go to craft cuts, tasks to tomorrow. Yes, allowed access to craft. And now I should have a daily note for tomorrow with the things I will get done tomorrow, hopefully. So that's some of the things you can do with craft cuts, shortcuts and craft. Again, I really like um, what the developers are doing um, of the individual extensions. I am a little getting a little more unhappy with how the craft team is dealing with extensions though there's not a lot of updates the developer form is pretty sparse for them updating anything like there's lots of questions i know flowgrow has asked and just not a word back at all um and then they're not bringing it to uh you know your mobile devices at this point they say they will at some point but we have no idea when this is going to be so we're just literally waiting around for them to do it and i'd like a little more than that that's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you love it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Uh, you can support the channel at curtismichael.ca slash membership uh, to become a member, get all my courses included at curtismichael.ca slash education to take a course. Or if you look below and you're on Skillshare, all links to all my courses are below. Have an excellent day.